Scientists have discovered the true ferocity of a huge volcanic eruption off the coast of Tonga in January. Research ships have found that flows of debris stretching at least 80 kilometers across the seabed. Let's hear more from Tom Brata. Something strange is happening beneath Lake Michigan. A place once celebrated for its pristine waters and summer serenity has now become ground zero for a mystery geologists are calling unprecedented. Deep below the surface, massive, perfectly circular holes have begun appearing silently, without seismic warning or human interference. At first, it was dismissed as noise in the data. But now, satellite scans confirm dozens, possibly hundreds, of these symmetrical voids across the lake bed. No one knows what's causing them, and that's the problem. The United States Geological Survey has issued a rare red alert. What's unfolding below may rewrite everything we thought we knew. It started like any other routine scan. Researchers monitoring sediment layers beneath Lake Michigan noticed an anomaly, a circular depression, then another. Too symmetrical, too precise. The team thought it was an equipment error, so they recalibrated, ran the scan again. Same result. That's when underwater drones were deployed. What they found changed the tone of the investigation instantly. These weren't ordinary sinkholes or sediment dips. They were deep, sharply defined, and oddly clean, like something had carved into the earth from below. Over the next few weeks, more appeared. Same size, same shape, different regions, all silent. No seismic events, no temperature spikes, no aquatic disturbances. What had started as an oddity now looked like a pattern, one that couldn't be explained by tectonics, erosion, or human activity and it was spreading. Researchers began to whisper the word unprecedented. Soon they'd drop the whispers altogether and call it a geological red alert. To understand the panic, you need to understand the precision. Natural sinkholes collapse chaotically. Their edges crumble and their walls are irregular. But these, these holes are geometrically exact. Perfect circles, some up to 40 meters wide, reaching depths that slice through ancient sediment layers like a hot knife. The drone footage is unsettling, smooth interior walls, no rubble, no signs of collapse. Even stranger, the sediment layers were vertically displaced, like something pushed up from below before vanishing. That shouldn't be possible in bedrock this stable. If these formations were natural, they were unlike any recorded. If they were artificial, there was no explanation for how. No seismic waves, no blast patterns, no heat, and no trace of drilling. Every geological rulebook said this shouldn't happen. And yet, it was happening, right in the heart of North America's most stable terrain. Scientists weren't just stumped, they were scared. The strangest part wasn't how the holes looked, it was where they showed up. They weren't clustered like seismic faults, nor were they random like erosion sites. Instead, they formed in what seemed like a grid scattered across the lake bed at consistent distances, creating an eerie geometric rhythm. GPS data revealed something shocking. The spacing followed mathematical intervals. It didn't match glacial retreat lines or tectonic patterns. In fact, it didn't match anything natural at all. The holes appeared in regions previously classified as geologically dead, places with no history of instability. Some were just miles off the coast of major cities like Milwaukee and Traverse City. If this was a natural phenomenon, it was one with a sense of design. That's when speculation turned to something deeper, something structural, a system, a mechanism, something beneath the lake bed that no one had ever noticed. And now, possibly, something reawakening. Specialized submersibles were deployed to gather real-time visuals and physical samples. What they returned sent shockwaves through the geological community. The holes had no loose debris. No signs of collapse or slow erosion, just perfectly smooth walls carved through compacted rock and sediment. In some areas, layers had been uplifted as though something had emerged, then receded. The composition of the sediment was unchanged, no signs of heat, no chemical residue, and no biological die-off. That ruled out hydrothermal vents, magma activity, or underwater explosions. These holes didn't just form, they were carved with surgical precision some appeared days after previous scans had shown a clean lake bed. This ruled out long-term erosion or pressure collapse. What's more, aquatic life swam undisturbed. Fish behaved normally, no change in temperature, 
no shift in microbial life. The holes existed in geological space, but ecologically, it was like they weren't even there. That ecological silence became the loudest alarm bell in every known case of lake bed disturbance, whether from tectonic shift, pollution, or drilling. There's always a response from the ecosystem. Dead zones, temperature change, altered fish migration. Not here. Lake Michigan's ecosystem moved as if nothing had happened. That baffled biologists and geochemists alike. One NOAA scientist described it as a ghost event, something that left no biological footprint. It made no sense. The holes were real, deep, measurable, and growing. Yet even sediment samples taken directly from their edges showed no variation from control samples meters away. If something was happening below the lake bed, it wasn't radiating upward, at least not in ways we understood. The silence pointed to one terrifying possibility. This wasn't a surface phenomenon at all. Something deeper, older, maybe slower, was changing, and the lake's calm waters were merely the lid on a sealed pressure cooker. An even darker twist emerged when historical geological surveys were re-examined. In the 1970s, a subterranean formation beneath western Lake Michigan had been dismissed as a minor igneous intrusion. It showed no activity, emitted no heat, and was largely ignored. But now, using updated imaging, researchers found it extended far deeper than previously thought, and its outer edges lined up disturbingly well with the new hole clusters. This wasn't random. The formation had structure, almost like a buried ridge or dome. Its symmetry mirrored the holes above, like puzzle pieces falling into place. Scientists began to suspect that this ancient anomaly might be reactivating. Not explosively, not like a volcano, but subtly, displacing pressure, shifting crust, and carving its message silently through the lake bed. If this was true, it would be one of the most significant geological events in North America in over a century, and we still didn't know what triggered it. As more holes appeared, something new emerged, strange electromagnetic pulses near the sites. Weak, but consistent. Interference showed up in research equipment and underwater drones. Low-frequency hums, static, spikes in conductivity across limited areas. These weren't associated with solar flares or radar. They were terrestrial, grounded, and they clustered only around active hole sites. One physicist called them geo-echoes, subsurface signals generated by unknown stress or material displacement. Theories emerged about piezoelectric effects, electric charges released under pressure in certain rocks. But again, the readings didn't fully align. It felt off. Whatever the source, it was affecting the electromagnetic field, however subtly. This wasn't just a hole in the ground problem anymore. If electromagnetic shifts increased, they could interfere with communications, navigation systems, even regional weather. It was no longer just a geological mystery. It was becoming a systems mystery. The deeper the team looked, the more they realized Lake Michigan's secrets weren't buried. They were pulsing. Indigenous communities around the Great Lakes began sharing old stories, tales passed down long before sonar and drones, legends of breathing mouths in the water, boats that vanished, rumbling beneath the surface. They were considered metaphorical, spiritual language tied to nature. But suddenly, they lined up with modern hole locations. At the same time, Cold War-era sonar data from Navy training missions was declassified. Those records showed symmetrical depressions, just like today's holes, but were written off as equipment noise at the time. When reanalyzed, those errors were eerily accurate. The conclusion, these holes may not be new. They may have been forming, slowly, for decades, maybe even centuries. If that's true, what we're seeing now isn't the beginning. It's the reveal, the moment where the buildup reaches the surface and forces itself into visibility. History, science, and myth are converging, and Lake Michigan is at the very center. The potential danger isn't just theoretical. Lake Michigan isn't an isolated body of water. It's a lifeline, economically, ecologically, and politically. It provides water to over 10 million people. It supports billion-dollar shipping routes, and it stabilizes the Midwest's microclimate. If the lake bed were to shift, even slightly, the results could be disastrous. Engineers began modeling worst-case scenarios. What if one of these holes linked to a massive hidden chamber, 
Could a collapse create a pressure wave? Could it trigger localized tsunamis? Could it disrupt city water intakes? The simulation showed something chilling. Even a minor collapse at depth could send shockwaves toward shorelines. Cities like Chicago and Green Bay could be caught completely off guard. That's why officials are preparing contingency plans, quietly. So far, nothing has happened. But if it does, there may not be time to respond. That's why scientists keep watching, because something is definitely watching back. Now attention has turned to what lies beneath, deeper than sonar can reach. Seismic tomography revealed narrow shafts running vertically beneath some holes. Not natural fault lines, not lava tubes. They were too straight, too deep, too intentional. Some ran for miles, others branched off like roots. Their composition doesn't match surrounding rock. Some researchers now believe these are remnants of an ancient geological event, maybe fluid migration from the Earth's mantle millions of years ago, or perhaps something else entirely, something unknown. These shafts may be the true origin of the holes, weak points where crust gave way. If so, they could hold clues about Earth's hidden processes, or warnings. Either way, they are rewriting textbooks in real time. Lake Michigan hasn't just become a mystery, it's become a message. One carved in silence, in darkness, and now, in holes. We don't know what's happening, only that it's far from over. If this story gave you chills or sparked your curiosity, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. We've got more unexplained mysteries, breaking science, and deep dive investigations coming your way. Don't miss what's lurking beneath the surface. Subscribe now.